Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So Warrington Wolves versus Salford has just finished and I don't know what to say, but that that second half was a bit of a disgrace um, from a referee's. Uh, finished Warrington 36, Salford 20. Salford had 20 points to 6 lead at half time and uh, they were comfortable. So that's all you could say, they were comfortable Warrington looking a shadow of the former selves in the past two in the first two weeks of this season. Um Salford looking much better than they did in the first two rounds of the season and it was really, really good rugby from Salford. Not so good from Warrington. You're thinking Salford are gonna win this game pretty comfortably. And then Jack Smith decided to get involved and make it about him. But yellow card for Ryan Briley. Not a yellow card. Never, ever a yellow card. I'd, I'd, yes, you can get yellow cards, obviously professional fouls and being held down in a tackle. But that he, he just wasn't getting held down in a tackle. He obviously lost patience in Jack Smith, and that's fair enough. Salford did concede a lot of penalties in that second half, and they weren't as good as they were in the first half. That's fair enough. I'm not, I'm not disputing that. Um, But obviously, then Warren scored three times while Briley was in the bin, and Briley did not deserve to be in the bin. Um, the first penalty try. Um, I do, I do think that was a penalty try. Um, it's fair enough. Should have been an eight point try. Um, Tyler Dupree, um, sliding in with the knees, and um, you know that is, that is to be that that's always been a foul. Always, uh, always going to be an eight point try. So that one's fair enough. But you do have to question whether it would have been an eight-point try if Briley was still on the pitch, because that was clearly an act of frustration and from Dupree being brilliant all game up to that point. Um, so, yeah, probably probably an act of frustration as a result of that Simbinin. And then um, Warrington score again and score another another time while uh, Briley's back on the pitch, and that's a penalty try as well. I, just, I don't have any words for that one. How on earth is that an eight point try? You see that all the time, all the time in matches, and it's never ever an eight point try. I don't know where that's come from. I don't. I don't know why Liam Morris said it is, and why Jack Smith thought it was. I really don't know. But um, yeah, that that allowed Warren to score thirty unanswered points in that second half to pick up the victory. Um, Salford will feel how done to and I feel like they were were they good enough in that second half to win the game maybe not maybe Warrington possibly did deserve to win um that's maybe not not out of a question but the, the manner that they got that win and the manner of how Jack Smith allowed them to get that win is quite frankly a disgrace and I'm not happy and I'm not even a Salford fan or a Warrington fan not happy though that that's that shouldn't be happening and if it's a, a letter of the law that their penalty tries now and just a rule, then it needs to be changed because that'll be happening once, twice, three times every game. And you can't be given an eight-point try that, that often. And we haven't seen it so far that much this season, so I don't I don't know why tonight we felt like it was. But, um, yeah, that that's that's for rant from me. It's enough rambling. It's finished Warrington, 36, South Red Devils, 20. Warrington continue their unbeaten run at the start of the season. Salford's still looking for their first win. Maybe could have come tonight, but obviously it hasn't. Um but yeah, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.